Hello, in this video I want to talk about problem 5.3 in chapter 12. The problem deals with Monopoly who is uh, using a two-part pricing. All right, so two-part pricing is what uh, stores like Costco or Sam's Club is using where you have to uh, pay a membership fee up front and then you're able to uh, purchase the product at a reduced price. Uh, all right, so the question then is, uh, what price should we uh, charge for the goods? And what, would, what should the membership fee be in order to maximize profit? All right, so the example here is a small town with just one golf course. This is crazy, of course, but there's only one golf course in this small town. It's called Northlands Golf Club. A potential member, Joey, has the following inverse demand function. P equals 120 minus 2Q, where Q is the number of rounds per year. Now, here's the key thing. The manager of the Northland uh, Golf Club negotiates separately with each person who joins the club. And uh, the manager can therefore charge individual prices. That is, every member can be charged a slightly different price. And the manager offers Joe the following deal. An annual membership fee combined with an unlimited rounds of golf at $20 per round. And we know that the marginal cost of a round is $20. All right, so the question here is, what should a membership fee be in order to maximize the profit for the club? All right, so first of all, you should know that I played a lot of golf in uh, in my youth so i was on the the golf team for my high school and then uh, i made a team for for the you know my college which was ohio western university but it took way too much time so i quit anyway at that time i had a handicap of i don't know just around eight i guess that is somewhat irrelevant to this question though so when you're thinking about a two-part pricing, there are two rules you have to follow. One, you want to charge a per unit price that is equal to your marginal cost. And two, you want to charge a lump sum access fee equal to the entire consumer surplus. So you can always already see a crucial uh, point in order to do two-part pricing, which is that you have to know the customer's inverse demand function. You have to know the demand of the cu customer. Of course, that's, uh, that's a big ask, so it's hard to know that. But suppose we know what the inverse demand function is. What should a membership fee be in order to maximize profit for the club? All right, so I'm going to solve this problem on the next slide. All right, so here I have drawn Joe's... Uh, Inverse demand function from 120 to 60 on the Q quantity axis here. And the question is, uh, well, we kind of know. The first uh, step in solving this problem is to charge a per unit fee or per unit price equal to marginal cost. So we already know, and it was given to us in, this, in the question already, that the price is going to be 20. So the more interesting question here is uh, the fee. What should a membership fee be? And we know the rule is we should uh, charge him the entire consumer surplus. All right, so we can find that. The way to find it is to first figure out how many rounds of golf uh, Joe is going to be playing because that's going to determine what his consumer surplus is. All right, so to find the number of golf rounds, we just look at uh, the inverse demand function, 120 minus 2Q, and we know that the price is going to be equal to marginal cost, and marginal cost equals 20. So if we just substitute that in, we'll get that Joe is going to be playing 100 divided by 2. He's going to be playing 50 rounds of golf. All right, so it's going to be like President Trump. It's going to be a round of golf every week. All right, so we have the things. So now we just have to calculate consumer surplus. Consumer surplus, so we know this is 50. So it's going to be the 
you know, base times height. The height of this triangle is 120 minus 20, and the base is going to be 50, and then we're going to divide that by 2 to get the area of the triangle. So that's, of course, equal to 100 times 50 divided by 2. 50 times 50, 2,500. So there we have it. The, the club should uh, charge a membership fee should be equal to $2,500. And then every round of golf should be $20. And the profit will then be equal to, well... It's pretty straightforward. The profit will be equal to 2,500. Right? So uh, they So the golf club is going to be making a lot of money here. Maybe just for fun, let's see what a single price monopoly would have done if they had to solve the same problem. But they didn't know each person's demand function. So they just, and they can't do a two-part pricing. They say all they can do is limit the number of members and then charge uh, each member as much as they can per, uh, per round of golf. All right, so if we had that, it would be, you know, now you probably think this is very simple. So we have the inverse demand function. We find the revenue function. We find the marginal revenue function by taking derivative here. So we get 120 minus 4q, same intercept, twice the slope. We set that equal to the marginal cost. And therefore we have, you know, 4q equals 100. They're going to only play 25 rounds of golf here, but we're going to charge... Uh, 120 minus 2 times 25. We're going to charge them $70 per round. And if I do that, oops, the profit that I earn will be 70 minus 20 times 25. 50 times 25, 1,250. All right, so we, we, this is how much profit we make if we were a single price monopoly, this is the profit we make if we can do a two-part pricing and suck all the, or capture, maybe that's a better word, capture all the consumer surplus and make that into our profit. All right, that's our example of two-part pricing. Thank you.